taking a look ahead at the trading week beginning June 27th, we had a constructive tone to the end of last week in the stock market, but volume was pretty low. But still, we end up with the first up week for stocks last week in all four major indices that we've had in the last four weeks. And only the Russell 2000 is below its 200 week moving average. The other three major indices, the Dow, the S&P and the Nasdaq, are all above that 200 week moving average. So overall constructive, you'd like to see more volume. But going into next week, you really wanna look at the consumer confidence and where it's coming out in the little bit of consumer confidence data that we do have next week. Last week showed another low in the University of Michigan consumer confidence in the US, the GFK consumer confidence in the UK hit a 48 year low. So consumer confidence will be a big focus as to whether they come out and spend in the retail environment and whether inflation figures hurt them at toward the end of the week. We did have a fall in yields across the board last week, nine basis point drop in the two year, 19 basis point drop in the five year, seven basis point drop in the 10 year and a five basis point drop in the two year, not much of a change to the yield curve overall, still kind of at that same level, although really just the fives, tens yield curve is still inverted. Now we do have summit week. Two weeks ago, we had central bank week part two. Three weeks ago, we had central bank week part one. Now we have summit week. On Saturday, there's a G7 meeting. There could be statements coming out of that that could move the markets. Then there is a NATO summit on Tuesday. Could be statements coming there discussing the war between Ukraine and Russia. Then we've got a central bank summit in the middle of the week in Portugal, where Jerome Powell, Christine Lagarde, and uh, Governor Bailey from the Bank of England all are attending. So you're gonna wanna watch that closely. Now, in terms of data, Sunday we get Chinese industrial profits. Monday, we get Japan's coincidence index, durable goods in the US and a Christine Lagarde speech. Tuesday, German GFK consumer confidence. That's one of, one of the data points we wanna watch. Another Christine Lagarde speech, house price index in the US and the conference boards consumer confidence index in the US. You're gonna to wanna to watch that along with a Mary Daly speech. Wednesday, Cleveland Fed President Loretta Mester speaking along with German inflation data. That evening, we get manufacturing and non-manufacturing PMI in China. Thursday, UK Q1 final GDP, German and EU employment data, preliminary Canadian GDP, and then PCE price data in the US, which will matter. That evening, we get the tank of manufacturing and non-manufacturing indexes in Japan. Friday, inflation data in the EU, ISM manufacturing PMI, and construction PMI in the US. Non-farm payrolls will be pushed to the following week.